on data portability. I was urging that the industry move to a best practice of data portability. I, com I completely agree that that something as complex as data portability is it would be a bad thing to, to legislate or regulate. But um, but I mean, if if the industry, if industry leaders can can set a benchmark of, of providing portability on their own systems, then industry, you know, then advocates can can point to some leaders and, and point to companies that don't provide data portability and say, look, you know, why aren't you doing this like like they are? But I mean, I mean, on the on the flip side is, you know, in my organization, as long as we've been around, we have been, you know, resistant to regulation. We were, as as Mark was describing, you know, back in the in the 90s, very much in the you know hands off the internet um, approach. Um, I, I think we, we finally, over the 15 years, become convinced that consumer privacy is an area that um, that the industry has not um, successfully. And, and sufficiently addressed, um, and so we at least are are supportive of um, of privacy legislation. Frankly, not I, our ideal would not be to have a privacy regime focused just on online. I mean, the proposals on the Hill are right now focused just on online. We'll we'll take that if we have to. Um, but but so that area is where where I think we would be comfortable with legislation. Uh, other areas, we, we certainly would agree with with your anxiety. Yeah. Did somebody else? Yeah, I mean, I think you're, you're certainly not trying to, you know, recreate DOD requiring ADA from the 70s. I mean, that, that's not what you're trying to do. But the reality, certainly from someone like, like our situation, is you're, you're bumping into regulations. If we, if we lived, you know, as Jonathan was saying, in a perfect green field in which there were no regulations, I, don't, I think most of our clients are more than happy to have the data wherever they want, and we're more than happy to have it wherever it's sufficient. And, but then you run, you run into these laws that say, well, in this country, you can't store the data here, and then there's this here. And, and it's the, you know, for us to be able to innovate as fast as possible and invest as aggressively as possible, what we want is, is standards and predictability um, and consistency. And, and that's what the problem becomes. Or you get into, you know, like the, the, the federal government is a massive buyer already of cloud computing and is going to be a, a very significant buyer of cloud computing. And they're using, you know, cybersecurity rules at the moment that are, are somewhat incoherent. <laughs> based upon the, the current state of technology. And that creates real problems because we, you know, we literally come up with these architectures that do stuff that serves no purpose of actually increasing security other than to conform with a, a 10 or 15 year old law. That's not saying, hey, we want you know, more regulation to ossify stuff, or we want more intervention of government. It's more the fact that government is, the more that we can make it coherent to enable us to move faster, the, the better for us. Can I, can I just add a footnote on that comment about uh, federal cybersecurity uh, uh, standards? I've got colleagues from the Commerce Department here. Don't we ask a question about that in the cybersecurity NOI that's coming out in the next couple of days? I think it's a question like 6D or something like that. <laughs> <In> any event. <laughs> I, I, I guess I'll expand on Eric's point, though. I mean, one might suggest that if everybody actually just knew everyone's practices and policies, that you might then try to adopt worldwide the notion of personal choice. As long as everybody knew what they were getting into with their data, that they could make their individual choices. But in asking that question, I'm reminded of this, this really gallant effort on the part of the W3C to come up with something called the Platform for Privacy Preferences, mm -hmm. or P3P, which in the end was an unmitigated disaster. And, and so I have to ask the question, are we even qualified to come up with the list of practices that are, even would need to be addressed in a set of best practices or a, uh, I mean, because in the end, even describing people's policies on privacy turned out to be, uh, and, and if we look at, you know, so, uh, uh, you know, some of the regulations we've had around that uh, in terms of people having to publish privacy policies when they send you their bills, et cetera. I mean, are we, do we have the capacity to even describe the thing that we're, we're talking about regulating? Well, th this That's is where norms are important rather than regulation. I mean, you don't want a HIPAA type checklist. You want a bias towards transparency. You want all these different reasons that will push cloud providers to make it clear how is their data being how is data being stored? How how will audits be provided if that's necessary? Under what conditions will law enforcement have access to the data? This kind of transparency is really the answer. And I think government regulators 
are leaning that way, and I think we could get to the right solution if we focus on that rather than some 2010 checklist, which will be out of date two months later.